Good morning, everybody. Day 180. Slept really good at Mount Collins Shelter. Rain, it rained pretty much all night and stopped about, I don't know, 5 a.m. So that's good. Wasn't raining when I got up. Always enjoy that. And right now we're climbing Mount Collins. And then we'll drop down off Mount Collins and climb up to Clingman's Dome. The highest point on the AT. And I'm not sure if we're going to have views or not. I didn't know I'll see out anywhere yet. And I'm also going to try to get past Rocky Top today as well. That'll set me up for a, a better exit out of the Smokies. <sighs> I'm looking for my second wind. Haven't quite got it. Won't take too much longer though. And I guess that's all the info I have at the moment. But don't worry, I'll be back for sure. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views. You know, just like I do, baby. Let's go enjoy this day. We're getting close now. It flattened out. I know we're getting close because I know this trail. <laughs> close to Clayman's Dome. I've seen a few cars come up here. So I don't know if it's gonna be crowded up here or not. I would like to think not, being how I don't think we're getting any views. Because we are in a cloud. But the only way to find out is to go check. It's all frosty. Everything's got a layer of frost on it. It looks really cool. When I rounded that corner, I'm like, ooh, nice. It's a bit nippy up here. Oh, I've got zero views. This is pretty good. Cool. This whole path, like half the path up here, there's nothing nice. So be careful if you go up here in conditions like this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ski down. Nice. It's like all icy. Good thing it's kind of grippy concrete or you'd be, be a wreck. Small steps, baby steps, if you will. <laughs> no views up here. Maybe we'll get them on Rocky Top. You never know. <sighs> It's windy up there. There's actually people. I hear people coming up here. So 
wild to me. So usually this is a pretty good view spot too. Apparently we're not gonna get them today. <laughs> Although view, views on top of Clayman's dome are pretty rare anyways. So I've been lucky enough to get them like three times, four times. Um, maybe more than that. But when it's clouded in, it's it's really clouded in. You can't see nothing. Boop. <laughs> Coming down off Klingman's. We got through that little field area, patchy part, whatever it was. And now we're in this cool, mossy pine forest this mile stretch or whatever it is in this old growth pine forest might be one of my favorite sections on trail might be it's pretty beautiful with all the green and the old trees and yeah the undisturbed surroundings What a beautiful area. I wish you guys could get the feeling that you get when you walk through this. I don't think it comes through on the video. <laughs> but it's a super duper cool feeling. Feels like I'm walking in one of the oldest forests around. Oh, and it's dripping from the trees on me too because I think clouds making everything so wet. The, the leaves and or the pine needles or whatever you just can't hold any more moisture so it's dropping out the trees on me it's not raining it's just we're in a cloud oh cool Double springs. Water's right here. Boom. I think what I'm gonna do, it looks like the sun might pop up. Make his happy little face show, huh? I think I'm gonna make a coffee right here. Huh. Double springs. Like I said, the water is right here. AT, we just came in right here. And when you leave, you go out right here. Zoom. But, it's coffee time. Man, what a change in trail. I just love Double Springs shelter and about I don't know, point two or point three after we left there 
the trail changed dramatically. Pretty wild how quick it does that. This is a cool ridge walk. It's even better when you got views, but as you can tell, pretty white out conditions up here. Okay, slippery when wet. Boop, switch back. That's where we came from. Uh, we're going up this way. Making our way up to Siler Bald. We're almost there. I think I just looked a little bit ago and we were half mile. So we gotta be like 0.2 or something from the top. We're getting close. Summit of Siler Bald. Whoppies! There's no views up here. Those are our views on the way down. And we're not far away from them either. If I had to show you the little marker. Look, it's starting to clear up. Well, you can't see it on video, but trust me, it's starting to. Tyler of old shelter. And we didn't have any views. <laughs> but now it's starting to clear up, so who knows? I still think we got some spots coming down. <laughs> All right, at least it was just like this little section. I didn't get views. I got views pretty much everywhere else that I wanted to so far. If I can get Rocky Top, that'd be even better. No, it's kind of neat when you're walking in and out of clouds. Like right now, we're just hovering below the cloud line. We're going to go back up in it here in a minute. But it's kind of neat, just like right in the cloud, out of cloud, in the cloud, out of cloud. 
<laughs> now granted, yes, I'd like to have views, but this is cool too. You can't always get views. Well, you can, but you gotta do a lot of waiting. See? I'm back on cloud. Looky, looky. Isn't that special? 2,000 miles. Wonder if that even got me in there and everything in there. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, less than 200 miles to go. Crazy. Another 2,000 miles done. Oh, look. Dude, they're getting happy with it. <laughs> I guess I don't want you to miss it. 2,000 miles. 2,000 more. It's amazing how fast they go by. I mean, before you know it, you're over 10,000 miles. Then over 15. And you just keep going. And going and <laughs> going. <laughs> Two thousand, baby. Derek Knob camping area. Don't go too far this way because that's toilet area. You don't want to be camping in the toilet area. <laughs> now from here, it's two o'clock, six miles of Spence Field up and over Rocky Top. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna stop here. It's gonna keep on rolling. I've stayed here a lot though. I bet I've stayed in this shelter more than any other shelter in the Smokies. Derek Knob. All right, let's get moving. Six miles. All right. We got half our climb up to Rocky Top done. Tell you what though, <laughs> that climb out of Starkey Gap, whew, ooh. <laughs> Especially at the end of the day, it's like, man, it's a tough one. But now we're just gonna be rolling in and out of this, inside this mountain for a little while. And then our final little push up to Rocky Top. It looks like we should get at least some kind of views up there. I mean, I can see out there. It's half the battle. All right. Now that I'm recovered from the climb out of Starkey Gap, we can get moving again. Five thousand five hundred and twenty seven feet above sea level. <laughs> this is top of Thunderhead Mountain. So it's taller than uh it's taller than Rocky Top, just there's no views up here. But we're just a short distance away from Rocky Top, and it looks like we're going to be saving the best for last today. Snake Peak. Zoom in.
top of Rocky Top. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me zoom in. Finally, we got the views. Beautiful up here. I've cooked coffee behind this rock right here a few times. In case you're wondering. All right, I'm gonna zoom you back out and we'll go back the other way. This is trail, it's where we just popped out of. Top of Rocky Top. I'm undecided if I'm gonna go down to Spence Field Shelter or go past it. I'll probably end up there. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That'll leave me like 16 to get out of the park tomorrow. Not too shabby. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Spence Field Shelter. I'm not staying in the shelter. I'm just going to go get some water real quick. And then uh, I'm going to go set up camp. Ooh, what's happening, everybody? End of the day recap. Day 180. Left Mount Collins Shelter at mile 202.8. We're now sitting at Spence Field Shelter at 183.7. Makes it a 19.1 mile day, everybody. And today was all right, I guess. I mean, we got views at Rocky Top, which was perfect. Um, and for the rest of the day, all I can say is at least it wasn't raining. <laughs> and it leaves me like 16 miles to the 16 point something to the permit box at the southern end of the Smoky Mountains. So we'll be exiting the Smokies tomorrow. Yay! Be able to hike with Katie and Pierre again. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap. Day 180, 19.1 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. 